All right, here we go. Improvising over these chords. What are these chords? D major. Everybody knows D major. You guys are... That's all D major. So, we're cool with D major. But by golly, when we come to that E flat, ooh. What is an E flat scale? It normally has an A flat. So, get yourself very comfortable with E flat. But I'm going to give you a little. I'm going to let you play an A natural over that E flat. That is the sharp 4 or sharp 11 of E flat. And it's going to sound good over these chords. Why? Because you're pulling back to an, a D chord. And it's, a, it's, it's part of the D chord. So it's going to have a kind of tension and release. It's also part of the B flat major chord that's coming up very soon in bar six. Um, and the G chord and the A chord. You can hear it. It's a beautiful sound. So um, that takes care of all the chords. No. Let's, let's, let's talk this through. The B-flat chord is the one that's the most different in the, um, in the A section. It's equally as different as the E-flat. basically the same notes as the E flat sharp 11, the E flat Lydian, as it were, which is basically the fourth mode of the B flat chord. Let's not go deep into that, but good to hear these things. If you hear them for the first time, you hear them for the second time, you start to put the dots together. Let's now look at the um, chords that exist in the B in the B section. It's a B minor chord, right, and a C major. And I'm going to play also. I'm going to play the um, the C major with a sharp eleven, with an F sharp note. So again, it's the Lydian. It's the fourth degree of the G scale. But the B minor, I'm going to play C sharps. So the big change is going from a B minor Let's get this right. B minor with a G natural. Okay. What is that? That is... It's really a D scale with the B being the relative minor of D. You would have a G natural. So it's the sixth mode of the D major scale. Um, and the C, so the, so the only note that changes between B minor chord and the C chord is the C note. And so it's, we're going to use C sharps over the B minor. And we're going to use C naturals over the C chord. Now 
Now for the B flat major, we're going to use E naturals and B flats and F naturals. So that's also a B flat Lydian. So all of this B section is using Lydian modes a lot for the C major and for the B flat major. Um, Lydian, sharp 11. And then we've got the turnaround chords, C sharp minor, F sharp, E minor, A. What do we play over that? Well, over the C sharp to, to F sharp, you could say, well, I just pretend I'm in B minor because that's the 2-5 of B minor, which it would get you there. But I like to outline them. I like to speak the C sharp minor 7 and the F sharp. I like to outline the arpeggios. There's your C sharp. There's your F sharp. But we don't go to B minor. Instead we go to E minor and A7, which leads us back to D. So E minor, A7, D, major 7, and we're back at the top. It's a lot of information to take in. I understand that. So if this is all new to you, take it one bar at a time. Really think about it. Really think about D major 7 to E flat. Just practice those two chords. There would be absolutely nothing wrong with spending an afternoon. A good, a, a good couple of cups of coffee, I recommend. <laughs> Just on the... D major to E flat. Because as I said earlier, there's nothing further away than a half step. You know, so learning to go bit of practice. B flat. Just that bar is a whole world. B flat. G. A. B flat. G. A. Into D. So that's another thing you could cycle a bunch and try it in different areas. Like, can I get through those changes on just the bottom two strings? Just find the arpeggio notes and then build little melodies around that. Can I do it up here? Can I do it here? A. Okay. Then we look at B minor to C. That's another half step. But one is minor, one is major. So we go from closed to far, meaning spacing. Here we're on minor thirds. Here we're on major intervals. B flat. Uh, well, then it's B minor to B flat. That's going the other direction. B flat major. B minor. So there's common tones. The A and the D maintain on both chords. But the B flat and the F natural. Become B and 
F sharp. So it's a very different sound and it's a very different feel in the hands. We're going from this to this. Big difference. Okay, enough yakety yak. Let's get on with it. 